dying. Okay, I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. You get hit by Land Rover or whatever. Okay, maybe that part's unpleasant, I'm sure. But then you float up into the sky and you look down at your body. For the first time, you get a really objective sense of whether your thighs are actually as out of proportion to your body as you thought you were. <laughs> and then you float up through the pearly gates like Wonder Woman or Supergirl or whichever one it was that can fly. And you see God. <laughs> and you wave at him or you shake his hand if you like to touch people. <laughs> and you tell him, well done, God. You're doing some really good work down there. <laughs> it's a pity about all the bombs and such, but who am I to judge? And then you see Rhombus the turtle who died when you were nine. And he's floating around all pompously now because it's the afterlife. So he has all four of his little legs this time around. <laughs> and then behind him, you see Stefano and Daisy and little squirrel <laughs> and Mari. And behind them, covered in cat hair and carrying an enormous bug of tea, is my mom. She gives me a warm hug and she says, darling, I've missed you. Welcome home. Now what's so scary about that? <laughs>
Ha <laughs> ha 